to a fine young zebra by the name of Sue. This weekend. Isn't she pretty? Well, hello, Goldie. Congratulations, Zoo. She's lovely. I've got to tell everybody. Mom, Grandma, Nana. <laughs> Grandpa! Here you are. Goldie's staying with us for the whole weekend. Oh, it's a pleasure to make your acquaintance, Goldie. How are you? Look, I've almost finished making this stool. Uh, do you think Goldie would like it? Hmm. I, I could paint it green and yellow for her. It's just her size. You'll be nice and comfy, Goldie. Thank you, Grandpa. She told me to make sure that Goldie is in the sun, but out of the wind. Mm -hmm. Here, too shady. Here, too windy. The view isn't very nice. Well, what about over here? It's sunny and sheltered, and there's a lovely view of the whole garden. Grandpa, she likes it here. Her face is turned to the sun. That means she's happy. Oh, but look at her pot. I see. It's worn and chipped in places. Well, it's okay. The pot's not broken, Zoo. Zoo, let's play. Why don't you go and play with Elsie? I'm sure Goldie will be fine. I'm off to play with Elsie now, but don't worry. We'll be right here where you can see us. <laughs> Come on, Elsie. See if you can catch this one. <gasps> oh, no. Are you okay? Whoops. Oh. Elsie didn't mean to scare you. It was an accident. Is she hurt? Just a little shaken. Hmm. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five. Coming. Ready or not? It's only a little cloud. The sun will be out again soon. Zoo, you're meant to be hiding. Now it's your turn to count. I'm going to hide. <laughs> How can we play if you have to be with Goldie all the time? This is her first time out of the classroom. Everything is new and strange for her. She needs lots of care and cuddles. Oh, I hadn't thought of that. 
Bizu. Lunch. It's time for me to go too. Bye, Zoo. Bye, Goldie. Bye, Elsie. Mum, do you think Goldie's bigger after her morning in the sun? <laughs> she may be slightly taller. You can check with Grandpa after lunch. You're taking such good care of her. Hmm. Grandpa, this afternoon, can you please take me to Mr Zoe's shop? I want to buy a new pot for Goldie. As a surprise. Oh, that's a great idea. Congratulations, Goldie. You're a big girl now, big enough to stay on your own. Well, I go shopping with Grandpa. It won't take long. Bye, Goldie. I'll be back soon. Hello, Mr Zoe. Do you have any flower pots? Very pretty ones. Aha! I can see you're looking for something special. It's for Goldie. She's my sunflower. What about this one? Hmm, I don't know. Do you have any other ones? Let me see. Uh, isn't there one you think Goldie would like? Hmm. Come on, Zoo. Mr Zoe's waiting. What do you think, Puck? Oh, I know what Goldie would like. A flower pot with little sunflowers on it. I'm sorry, Zoo, but these are all the pots I have. Hmm. Hold your stripes. Look, you can make your own. Stickers! Perfect! <laughs> Goldie will love it. Could you please wrap it in pretty paper? Please hurry up, Grandpa. Goldie's waiting. <laughs> oh, Zoo, you're back. Just in time to help me in the kitchen. But, Mum, can't I give Goldie her present first? Please? I'm sure Goldie won't mind waiting. Stickers. How can I make it up to you, Goldie? Oh, I know. Hold on. Oh, 
Are you ever going to be my friend again? Cheer up, Zoo. Goldie's fine. She's only sleeping. All sunflowers bow their heads at night. Are you sure? Tomorrow morning, as soon as the sun shines again, she will lift her head and she'll be very happy to see your surprise present. Good night, Goldie. Sleep tight. Don't let the green fly bite. Come along now. It's bedtime for you too. taking such good care of Goldie. And she promised me I could look after her again soon. 